How's it going, Anjan? Pretty busy. Wait, John, do you have a minute? Of course. What's going on? I've been messing with formatting in this spreadsheet for a while. Is there an easier way to do this? I'm Joanna Smith, a developer advocate for G Suite. And with a couple minutes of your time, I can make your day easier as well as his. Oh, okay. I see. So basically you're doing this formatting, but you have to do it on all the different sheets. Yeah. Okay. Have you heard about the new Google Sheets macro recorder? No. It's this tool that lets you record your actions and then you just play them back over and over again. It saves you a lot of time. Okay. So if you want to get started, go up to tools. All right. Click macros. And then you see the record macro option. Mm -hmm. All right. If you go ahead and start recording, as long as this dialog is up, every single thing that you do will be recorded into it. Clicks, types, edits, all kinds of stuff. So from right here, you can just format the way you were doing earlier. Okay, great. So I want alternating colors. I'm gonna click here. Mm -hmm. And then choose green. Green's the best color. Awesome. And then done. Nice. Okay, so if this was all the formatting we wanted for this section, this macro, you can go ahead and click save to stop recording okay. and give it a title that's useful for you. So. Yeah, formatting, that's a good one. All right. So, okay, so what you have just done is used Google Sheets to automatically write an app script for you so that you didn't have to write any code. Okay, good. I have never used app script. Well, I mean, it's actually really simple to use with them. It's a great tool, but a great way to get started is you can edit your own macros and then you only have to change a few things instead of starting from scratch. Okay, okay so anyway, let's play it back. This is what you care about. Go mm -hmm. ahead to the next sheet that you wanted to format. Nice. Um, so the macros are in the same spot. So tools and macro. And now you'll see your named one has appeared. If it's the first time you run it, you have to authenticate. But if you run them before on a sheet, you'll be fine. And then you can see the whole sheet is now edited. Oh, wow. This is awesome. Yeah, it saves you so much time. Yeah, this is great. Thank okay. you. There are two things you want to know, though, if you're going to use macros moving forward. It's not just for formatting. You can do all kinds of tasks like um, analysis or any kind of computation or editing you have to do regularly. Um, or on a lot of different sheets. And then the second thing is that it's still collaborative. Your macro, recording or playing, will not block my edits. Wow, so when I need to input data during our budget meetings, I can do that. Exactly. That's awesome. If you had any questions on this pro tip, just leave them in the YouTube comments. And for more tips like this, follow us on Twitter, at G Suite, to vote on the next topic.